evidence of a hydrocarbon, but this time with a carbonyl group. So you're going to notice each of these have a C double bonded O in it. C double bonded O. Uh, so let's take the first one, aldehyde. Aldehyde. That's where on one side of the carbonyl there's an organic, and on the other side it is a hydrogen. So hydrogen on one side, uh, organic on the other. I remember this one because it has H aldehyde, and there's an H in it. Uh, this is usually good smelling, but doesn't have to be. Uh, like formaldehyde is an aldehyde. That's preserved dead things. Uh, others like <coughs> cinnamon, uh, cilantro, those sort of oily smells are, are aldehydes. Ketones is the next one. That's where you have a C double bond O. On both sides is an R group or an organic. Uh, and ketones are all over the body. Uh, a lot of interesting things with ketones. They're in, and you know, as they're everywhere, sugars, etc. Uh, one interesting thing: when you sleep, whenever you fast, aka like sleep and wake up, you have higher levels of ketone in your body. Uh, next one: carboxylic acids. Carboxylic acids. These are acids. This is where on one side is an organic, the R group. Another side is an OH, so it kind of looks like an alcohol a little bit. Uh, and alcohols are also acidic. These are more acidic because their conjugate base has a resonance structure. So this, the conjugate base of this will have a resonance structure. Uh, these, if you remove the H and put a sodium here, what, what's that? You have a long car carbon chain here, put a sodium here, that's soap. So carboxylic acids, laid to soap. Um, okay, next, uh, esters. Oh, and these are also used in a lot of like polymers and such. A lot of these can be in polymers. Esters, that's where on one side you have an organic. On the other side, instead of an OH, you have another OR group. So O and then another set of carbons. So carbons. CO, oxygen, carbons. This is heard of polyester. That's this thing in a polymer, is polyester. Uh, which happens to be out of style, but happens to be a great wicking agent. So, like if you wear polyester, like say I'm going out into the snow or rain, cotton is the worst thing to wear because cotton will hold the wetness onto your skin, but polyester will wick it away from your skin so you don't feel as cold. Uh, amides, or amides, right here, when you have an organic, carbonyl, and then nitrogen. And this nitrogen, like the amines, could have organics on it, or it could be H's. It doesn't matter. As long as it's organic, CO, and then nitrogen, whatever's on the nitrogen. Uh, amides, like if you've heard of nylon, uh, Kevlar, etc., that's right here, this category. So these are your functional groups. What you'd have to do, whatever structure I give you, you have to be, be able to identify, hey, it has that functional group. Like that's an amide, or that's a carboxylic acid, or that's an alkyl 